It's selecting plants is also art. So when we say plant breeding, plant breeding is a science because science of picking the best possible parents. As you know nowadays, people use even uh, uh, your DNA information to tell you ahead of time how the baby will look like, for example. <laughs> But uh, in human being, it's, a bit, it's still difficult to pick your parents, you know. But we can do that in uh, plants. So we also uh, uh, use uh, lots of information before we decide which two wheat parents should be intermated. And, and then we start with the progeny. So selecting parent is an art because you need to know very often the, their family history, because we are still not to the DNA-based uh, predictions. So you need to know history. You, you need to know how the parents, grandparents have performed in the past, or even the parent. So that's where, uh, over, uh, if you have worked for uh, a number of years, you learn all that. So you see something, you, you just see their parents and grandparents behind them. And same thing, coming and selecting plants, number one thing is you must like to be in the field and you must like to stay in the field days after days, going through plants, which Dr. Bolog once was used to say, talking to the plants. So that, that is basically what he meant to say was, if you are in the field, you watch plants, Plants are going to tell you. You don't have to say, it's not that they are going to talk to you, but you get attracted. The good plants attract you. That means they are, uh, they are pulling you to come and select me, you know. And, and that you could learn. Uh, I think uh, most of the people I have worked, and my own case, probably two years if you spend uh, several days in the field, you develop that confidence. So it's basically building confidence uh, when you are selecting. And, and you work with people who have done it uh, before. You are not shy of selecting plan. You know the characters which eventually uh, what you are selecting, uh, what plant should have. That could lead you towards the success. I think that is more important. And eventually what is also important, what we call numbers. So you should not be shy in selecting plants, uh, worried about, uh, oh my God, these are already too many plants. If they look good to you and, and, and meet the uh, specified criteria on height, disease resistance, tillering ability, spike morphology, uh, our practice is you take them. And, and as you advance and test them further, then you eliminate as you learn more about them. Because uh, by seeing here, uh, you, you know some of these will make it, but you don't know which ones. So, so the breeder side is uh, basically to be able to judge that these will likely make it and eliminate the ones uh, which y y you start to see that they are most likely not going to make it to the end. And, and that is the best which uh, breeders are able to do. And then you go through your uh, proper evaluation procedure there is no shortcut in breeding. That's the other thing. You cannot just say, oh, this plant looked good to me and this is going to be the variety. We joke sometimes, <laughs> especially when we are selecting the seed in Petri dish and by mistake somebody drops that seed. We say, you threw the, probably the, the best variety which was going to come out of this. But this is joke, you know. You don't know. <laughs> There's a little probability that that plant, uh, uh, that seed would have, but it's just playing with probability at that time.